bring us here. We all need to be mountain fit. That equals mountain bike. Hit those cycle trails, less beer. Sweating a bit of gravy this morning. Oh, need to do more biking. Right, we've reached Domini Biv. We'll, um, Fill up our water bottles here and continue on up into the mist. Got a little bit cool, had to throw in the old wool jersey. It's all good. It's quite an interesting concept going solo. Nobody sees you gasping for air. You're not racing to keep up with that fit guy or waiting for that really slow dude down the back, because there is none. Yeah, the dog gives me that look occasionally, like, hurry up, you silly old fool, as she locks back in a four-wheel drive, but this is pretty cool. And the only people that I've got to talk to is you guys. <laughs> so down there is where I saw one with Gary a couple of winters ago. Uh, unless this mist lives, we're not going to see much today. It's trying to lift. We're on the tops. Hallelujah. Kawika J. A little bit breezy, but not bad. down Backridge, try and get out of this wind. Just got out of the wind. Again, I'm hopeful it's trying to lift. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a, it's a southerly, it's following me right down this ridge. We've dropped a couple of hundred yards from the top of the J. It's glorious up here though, loving it, absolutely loving it. Just gonna power up on a little bit of hunt smart. Legs aren't used to walking these distances, so if I can get some advantage, I might as well take it. So somewhere down there, this Backridge hut. While it's tempting to go down there, have a brew, lunch, I'd lose quite a bit of elevation and then have to climb back out, so there's really no point. It does have a nice warm fire. Not that it's cold. We'll just keep pushing on to Backridge Biv, I think.
hot brew and the fire maple. This old Dumbo here forgot his mug. I tell you what, it tastes bloody good. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's just after four o'clock. This sort of misty drizzle still hanging around. Had a bit of a nap. Decided to cook up a venison patty, have a quick sort of scoff, and then I, I might just go and poke my noses out onto the faces in the forever hopefulness that it's clear out there. 50-50 chance at this stage. Otherwise, it's going to be a... A slow evening here. I might try and get the bonfire going when it gets dark and um, chill out, see what happens tomorrow. So climbing the J today, I strapped my Tika carbon light from Gun City onto my Tatonka pack. By the time I'd reached the top of the J several hours later, I didn't even realise I was carrying a gun. That's how light these guys are. So good. Get along to Gun City and have a look at the carbon options. Right, we'll sneak out for a quick evening look. We might end up with a wet ass, but it is what it is. Well, it's definitely lifting. It's a little bit better than I anticipated, to be fair. If it continues to lift, it should be a good evening. I'm, my cunning plan is I'm going to stay here and just pass these faces for the evening. Dave and Greg, it's Dangerous Dave, they've been into Kiwi Saddle within the last month and um, they took Bear, which is one of Annie's pups, and, and scored a second, nice second hind. So Greg's farming up near Thames, He's, um, he likes chasing bacon, does pretty bloody well at it too, and he's, he's a very good free diver. So on the Fjordland trips, he gets all the crayfish. But, uh, Dave was just so stoked to get get a deer in the car because of a bear. It's a bit of a bastard. It just looks like a fuck that shot up. Uh, 335 yards, so it's um uh, never mind, I'll just have to try harder. No excuses, I just wasn't good enough. Possibly need a bit of rest. I know, a failed dog, what do you think? Hopefully one shot won't stuff this area up and I'll, I'll just keep looking for the evening. Something else might poke out the head. I've calmed down slightly. Um, my big camera had a really good rest. Stupidly, I didn't. And then I started to panic because the mist was starting to roll in again. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to get the shot. Hmm. Now the mist has lifted and it's really good. If I'd just taken a chill pill, got myself slightly better set up, it may have been a different result. Anyway, we'll keep looking. 
Beautiful, beautiful evening. God. Where would you rather be? This is crazy. I've got a stag way over on these faces. And I swear, he's in hard antler. <laughs> he's got reasonable length to him too. Oh, do I can't chase him tonight. It's tricky. It's the time. Seven o'clock. Might be out there in the morning. Shit. Silly grin on my face. Sometimes a plan comes together. Yes! Jesus. So unfortunately that sun is gonna be gone by eight o'clock. Um, shot that stag. 325. Got it right this time with a decent rest. Nailed him. But I've heard him roll down, 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 down. And I've been down there before. Oh God, do I go now or do I come back in the morning? Maybe take my head torch and get down there for a quick look, but I don't know how gnarly it is down there. As heartbreaking as this is, I've got 15 minutes left of light. It's going to take me at least half an hour to get down to over to where he is. And then who knows how long to find him because he's rolled a long way down. Um, I'm going to make the call and come back in the morning. Damn it. That was pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I've got it on camera yet, but hopefully. <sighs> Had a decent rest that time. It's so it's crazy. He's in hard antler, so he must be a young stag, but with quite quite good length. I'm gonna pick it and say he's a big four pointer, but oh well, we'll find out in the morning. Pro dog's going. Why aren't we going to get it, boss? Mm. Because the boss has been down there before, and it's not fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
definitely my happy place. I can't stress enough how gnarly it is down where that stag is. Um, got me in and I have shot a few stags down on that face over the years and they're always a mega recovery. Not something, not a place you want to be in the dark. She's um, bloody steep. And that stag rolled a long way, I could hear the shingle going. So, hopefully with that dog in the morning, not hopefully, we will, we'll go and recover it. And fingers crossed, if I can get there well before the sun does, get the guts out of it, meat should be all right. It's been a long, long day. It was sort of half past three, quarter to four this morning when I got up. And uh, she's a fair, fair slog in here. More push biking, got to get fitter. Good dog. Well, perfect, perfect morning here at the ridge. Just had the, the first coffee of the day, always the best one. I'd be um, bullshitting if I didn't say my legs were bloody stiff as cardboard this morning. They should come right. Um, hopefully that country trust will get in here soon and give the old biv a birthday. It's just starting to look a little bit shabby on it. Need some paint, serious paint. And um, it's just this rotten stink coming from underneath the hut, so I hope some old hunter hasn't climbed in out of there underneath in a big storm and died, because Jesus, it stinks. Anyway, we've got a stag to recover, so put some gear together, go and get our beast. to really enjoy these mornings. Rich is turning it on today. It's bloody picture perfect. Right, we've got a job to do. So we've just unloaded all the heavy stuff. Now we'll get down the hill, see what we can find. So we shot him over there on those little clearings. He's gone down that big chute somewhere. So I think we'll go down to the bottom of that chute and work our way up it. Oof. If Annie remembers this spot, she did one of her first bloody recoveries on a Backridge Seeker down here at New Year's a few moons ago. Very cool. And if they remember, she's certainly going down to the right spot. <laughs> right. Hopefully, up around these bends somewhere. We might find a stag. There's a bit of bit of hopefully going on though. Well, we're still climbing. 
The dog keeps rolling rocks down on me. She's trying to take me out. Aren't you? Yeah. I'm pretty confident we're in the right spot, so I've just got to climb higher. She might be winding something up there. There's a nice breeze coming down this gut, so. Come on, dog, find it. So still no bloody luck. That's where I shot from up there. I'm just trying to figure out which catchment it rolled into, whether it was up on that face and came down into that one. Or oh, did it stumble down into this one? Oh, he's a bit gnarly. There's a dog up here chewing on a deer. Good girl, good girl. Ooh. Get there soon. Ooh. As bad as bloody tar hunting. Sit it, sit it, leave it, leave it. Fuck, I don't want it to roll. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Sst, get outside. If it rolls now, I'm fucked. As you can see, here, here. Here. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Annie. Out. Good girl. Good girl. Up here. Up here. Right. You sit. You sit there. Fuck me. He's a perfect little eight pointer. Unbelievable. Oh, he's lost some hair rolling down there. We do not want him to go down there. That's incredible. Mid November, and he's still got his rack. Okay, no, good girl. He might only be little, but I've never expected to come in here this weekend and shoot an eight pointer. Now I've got something to carry out over the main range. Because he's got to come home. I've just got to get his head off before I lose him down the slip. Get the head off first, then I might be able to get some back stakes. Head rules. Uh, 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 out, out.
stay. Sadly, this stag is in terrible, terrible condition. He's got what I call rubber band back stakes. Here. 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 Not a bad playground. Of his tucked in the bush over there. My gear's just over there. That's all Manson country for those of you that don't know. Rua Pehu in the background, if you can see that on the GoPro. Wow, what a day! What a day! We're just gonna go up here, side around this face, and back around the track. I can't believe the condition of that deer, the lack of condition. He was just a skeleton. Right, for a big Jap stag to have little skinny rubber band back stakes, he possibly had a back leg injury. Um, one of the joints looked really, really swollen, like it had broken and healed. So maybe, maybe that was what was wrong with him. But, that meat was crap, guys. I'd rather take this little head home over the main range. It's pretty cool memento. So, that's what it is today. Plenty of sign, plenty of spring growth. I'd just like to thank Kane Grundy. Um, Kane gave me some advice on a new carbon tripod for my P1000 Nikon. I was really struggling to find something that could handle the weight of it. He suggested a particular model and it's freaking awesome. So that's a bit of a game changer for me. So thanks Kane, keep up the great videos, love them. So two minutes off the vid, off the uh, vivi now. And uh, hopefully a cup of coffee. Well this is getting weirder. That there is soft velvet growing around his buddy coronets. It's, it's soft to, to push. Weird stag. What if he had an injury on that back leg that for some reason stopped him casting his antlers when he should have, and now he's tricked into believing he should be growing velvet. Antlers don't feel like they want to break off, but I'll get this head skin off. So this trip I'm carrying a super, super little lightweight Tatonka fly. This is just for emergencies. For example, if I got to Backridge Biv and it had burnt down, or it was full of bloody other Forest Park users and I had to camp out the night, so 
awesome bit of kit. Loving my Domex sleeping bag. It's a Halo Plus, rated to minus 17. Yeah, it's 1.4 kilos, but if I'm having to sleep out under the tent fly and it's snowing, as can happen in the car week, is at any time of the year, I want to be warm. Goodbye, Backridge Biv, till we meet again. On these hikes between camps, on beautiful days like today, you start to daydream a bit. And these windless days when it's hot, it's a real sign of spring. And summer's not far around the corner. And spring means warmer waters in the bay. And uh, I've been lucky enough to get out on the big battleship Fred and pull a few cray pots. So I'll just entertain you with that till we get to the next camp. <laughs> suddenly sprung a leak. Whew. Hence why I'm going to stay at Backridge Hut tonight, recharge the batteries this afternoon and um, climb the main range early early in the morning. Swedish women's volleyball team aren't in residence at the heart. Because if they are, unfortunately, I'm going to have to kick them out because I need a bunk. Oh. Two big days, I might have to have a nana nap this afternoon. What about you, dog? Are you going to have a nana nap? I think so. Damn, forest service huts look so good. Oh, beautiful. How good. See them spear mug for, for this mug. We forgot his mug. Well, rightly or wrongly, I've had my nana nap. I feel kind of refreshed, although my legs aren't telling me that. I'm going to have a crack at climbing the J this evening. Um, big dark clouds building up. Might be a thunderstorm, but and again, there might not be too. So we'll go up the, uh, the northern route up to the J and um, back down to Makahu. She's a good slog up that bloody face from the hut. It's kind of like this. But it's a reasonably cool breeze, which is quite nice. So we'll just keep our eyes open. You never know. Might be a hungry one out feeding. Sightseeing. 
Dog said we had to stop for takeaways. She's getting hungry. Always listen to your dog. Had a quick glass in these gully heads with the binos while Annie's having dinner. Might just still be a tad early up in this high stuff. There's nothing out feeding yet. Oh, you gotta wait for that magic hour, that buddy. Half an hour just before dark. Maybe they pop out then when they're safe. Well, a little bit more climbing, we're just about on top of the main range, so it's a good feeling. That's where I was this morning, down Backridge. Whew, another honest day. Stop it. Oh, Jesus. Is there cold beer in our fridge? I'm just above Domini Bivy and I'm coming down. And I am thirsty, real thirsty. I could drink the pub dry. Oh, good to see the truck. Even better that it's still got wheels on it. Well, that's another mission done. See you on the next one.